Movement number four. Dragon seeks path. Dragon whips his tail. Yo, my man, why you got on that purse, huh? Hey, you seen the no purse? I'm the big dilf. Don't do that. I'm not out of Patron in the bit at you, heard? Get your money up, not your funny up. Grrr. Get your money up, not your funny up, dummy. It's Friday. We lit. We lit! Boogie drop. That four horseman is out. So make sure you go streaming that official video out now. You know what I'm saying? Got script project coming soon. Got that Dax feature Dream Chasers coming soon for all the new video. people. Video. For all the new people tuning in, bro. Salute. Yeah, me and Dax got a video drop. Facts. Salute. That SFJ, Strictly for the Fans merchandise is out. That Strictly for the Fans project's out. Make sure you stream it out on all major platforms. Then, got the Monfu Podcast merch coming soon. You know what I'm saying? Whole lot of up-and-coming things. You know what I'm saying? Big things, big things. I got a really big team. I got some really big things. I got some really big dreams. I got some really big rings. Anyways. Yo, you're going to hear my car. I'm going to hear my keys. Good. Never mind. It's gonna be frozen. Yo, so what are we on today, son? We made an intro short and sweet, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get right to it, you know what I mean? Out of sight, out of mind, all this way. And the voice in my head can't keep quiet, silent, right? We're gonna talk about that new Boogie Woogie Woogie. Man. Fire. We're gonna talk about the new Boogadel, Boogadel. Bo 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 that Boogie Vell? Yo, listen, so. What? That Boogie Vell? <laughs> the Boogie Vell? Yo, don't disrespect my nigga. Uh, don't disrespect the legend, bro. So, Boogie last night dropped his debut album off Shady Records. Debut album off Shady, Shady Records. You know what I mean? It's Dave Burr. You know what I mean? And um, it dropped at midnight. We're going to give you the monthly breakdown. I already gave you my personal little breakdown thing. My full breakdown going to come tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern on the Screwface Live. Shazam. Facto. Yo. We out here. So off tops, what you think about the album? All right, let me pull it up here. Real quick. Just... I kept notes. I took notes for this, John. I'm going to keep it a bean. I took notes. There's no freestyle. You still trash. Shut up, bitch. You trash. Shut up. Off the top. Off the top minds. Listen. You want me to go song for song or how you want just okay? I did song, song for song, so I mean, you know. We're gonna do song for song, but let's overall. That's hard. That's a hard question to open up with. Uh overall. Hmm. Did it sound like you thought it was gonna sound? A little bit. I was I was okay, I'll tell you before we get to the specifics, I'll tell you my pros and my cons. Let's talk about that. <laughs> So my, my, let's get the cons out the way. My first con, too much singing, right? Too much singing. And I get that, and, and, and I get Boogie's more of a melodical, kind of like singing person, but I'm going to keep it a buck. Here's how I uh, judge albums, right? I judge them by thoughts, right? So anytime, and rappers do this a lot when they start padding their albums, There'll be songs where, where like, bro, number three was saying the same exact thing as this song. Like, what, yeah. what, what is the different emotion? Like, what am I getting different? You, <coughs> make this song, right? you know what's funny? Can I, can I pause you just for that? Because that was kind of one of my cons, too, was when I was taking notes, I was going through each individual song, and I was noting, like, what I thought about that song and blah, blah, blah. And then literally by like song six, I was like, damn, my nigga, I've literally typed the same thing three times. I don't know, yeah. like, like, oh, like literally almost verbatim. And I'm not even trying to do that, but I don't know how I could not. But keep going. I think what happened was the first half is a good kind of spray of emotion. But then I feel like he starts repeating himself. Like, I feel like there's a lot, like, you can take a couple of these songs and match them together and be like, these are essentially the same song. Yeah. Just like a different beat and melody and stuff but they're the same song um i think he he um too much singing 
I think it was redundant a bit. That's what I meant. And also, <laughs> I feel like I feel like one thing um, that I mentally noted too about what you just said. I I agree with that. I felt like. It was 13 songs, and I felt like they could have almost made it shorter, and it would have hit harder. If they would have, they could have literally cut it in half. Yeah, and and then it would have had the same type of feel that would have kind of made you like want to hear more from him. But keep going. Yeah, I feel like I heard a couple of silent rides. You know what I'm saying? Like so, what I'm saying though is another thing that I thought was a con, and not necessarily for me because I understand how it is, but like whoever's doing the marketing. This is not the okay. <laughs> Silent to shady. You're fighting an uphill battle getting them to like this. I I kind of thought the same thing. I kind of was like, um, this doesn't necessarily fit the ear of what I expect to hear from a shady rapper. But yeah, it was something. This is okay. Uh, a con for me too. I guess we're just gonna go ahead and get the cons out the way then. So. The a, a con for me too that kind of ties into that. I kind of felt like I feel like there was a lack of features, and I feel like that's kind of weird to say. And that helped on the redundancy. Yeah, that made it seem a lot more redundant. Too. Right, because it it kind of had like almost a Jay Coley type feel to it, just because of the lack of hearing people and like the lack of like difference between one the song beat. to another because his hooks are fire. But, like, he could have wrote that same fire hook for somebody else to sing, and I probably would have, like, thought in my mind, like, mentally, okay, that's a lot different because I hear a different breakdown of, like... Because even his features were so similar to how he is that, like, it, it was almost... Because, like, the the... Not to bring this song up, but to bring this song up, but the J.I.D. feature... Was like you damn near almost didn't even realize it was JID. When it switched over to JID, yeah, because he was rapping so similar to how Boogie was with the vibe. So we gonna talk about that song. I was a little disappointed simply because of how short Jid's verse was on that. Shit. That was a sample. The song the was only was a minute saying, and fifty four seconds. Yeah, a lot of them songs are short. So I was sitting there like, yeah, I don't know, like the people, wh whatever intern at Shady watches this, listen. Now, I said this on my reaction, my review, too. Right. Yo, y'all got to know that you're going to be fighting an uphill battle. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. You can make them like it, but it's going to take a lot of Eminem co-signing. It's going to yeah. take a lot more than it would have if you would have came out, lyrical, lyrical, choppy, lyrical, lyrical. Because yeah. it would have been able to ride the shady fans more. But, like, it would be like if somebody came to TDE and was not lyrical. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. if someone came to T, because TDE is a bunch of, no matter what, it's J Raw, they all are lyricists. So it's like, if someone, even SZA, so if someone came in there and was like, yeah, whoa, I can do it. It would be like, wait, that's not, that's not, like, the TDE fans are not going to be the, the audience for this. Right, 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 right. Yeah, no, I uh, I agree. But here's uh, the pros. Let's get to the pros. <laughs> the pro, I wanted to get the cards out the way because here's the pros. The pros are. My boy Boogie know how to make a song, my nigga. Boy. That nigga can make the hell out I of I got smoke in my eye, but boy. That That's the... I'm mad, that, I, I'm mad I saw the smoke just slap the shit out your yo, eye. Yo, the smoke just just nah, played in my eye. That's what I... I Every single note on every single song on this album that I noted, the one thing that I said was, God, this dude literally knows how to put together a song. Like, it's, like, almost creepy. It's almost like, bro, you should probably write for somebody if you know how to, like, make songs progress that well. Well, but I, I wouldn't even say that. I say he speaks from his own voice really well. But I feel like... Uh, we're on the con. We're on the con, pros. Uh, so, uh, he can make some real good merch. He know how to make a song. Right. He, know how to, he know how to make a... Uh, the, the shit out of a hook. Yes, Whoa! he does. The hook Fire making hook. is just like, God. Yo, son, God. I be thugging through my rain. <coughs> Dang, bruh, that is just That's the most the reason, wavy thing I've ever heard in my life. That might be the hardest chorus Eminem has been on. And I'm not saying yeah. that's Eminem's chorus, but song-wise, yeah. that might be the hardest chorus. Of, I be thugging through my rainy day today. Nigga, that is so dumb, man. Thugging through my rainy day. 
And literally at the beginning of that song, this nigga said, I still rock furs in the summertime. And I was like, bro, that's... I still rock furs in the summertime. Listen. Don't do that. <laughs> Yo, son. Yeah, I mean... And I think he's a, he's a good rapper. Great rapper, but I just feel sometimes... I feel that he should have... <laughs> and this is what... Okay, back to the, one more call. That the biggest fundamental flub of this album, the biggest most slap to my my face as a JID fan and as a JID fan since oh my goodness, there was no hype. Literally, I heard how I heard Boogie was oh my goodness, right? Yeah. What? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm listening. No, it, it was uh, 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 oh my goodness, which is like man, 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 oh my goodness, I'm a bitch. When uh, uh, I was chilling in the pocket, and I got shot up with a forty. I was there, like, oh my goodness! Right. I was, I was expecting that ignorance. Yeah. Where was that forty talk? Where was that? Ah, that's what made me mad. Cause I was like, oh, this is gonna be. I kept going through. Even if you watch my reaction, I kept going through. Like, oh, this, this next one by name. Yeah, 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 yeah. I but was expecting. Also, like vibey. That I'm like, dang, well, if you look like <laughs> fan, like, look, you got more layers than that. You got yeah, more layers than that. but I mean, outside of "Oh My Goodness," I really haven't heard a song that wasn't really too much like how his album was, though. Honestly, but think about it like this: that's that's the weirdest thing the artists do. I don't allow artists do that. That is his biggest song, or it was for the longest time. Why would you stop? That was doing before what got Shady, you? though. So maybe I don't know. Maybe don't that's think, not what the label was. Hold on, I don't think he got. I think that's still his biggest, highest view one. Yeah, it probably is. But I'm saying, like, that was before Shady, though. So, like, maybe his, you know, like... But what, he got to Shady and the nigga said, yo, don't do not do none of that ignorant nigga shit. I mean, not no, not necessarily that, but maybe they're looking for a different sound yeah, from him. Maybe he doesn't have that creative control like we would think for him to have on that. But I put, though, the first... Co- yo, this is the thing. I definitely noted that... This album sounded like a clash between, not not comparing, as in, like, quality, but I'm saying this song sounded like a clash between literally Good Kid, Mad City, and To Pimp a Butterfly. It was like Good Kid... It was more, it, it was more To Pimp a Butterfly. Yeah, but, but the breakdown, the way that every song damn near had a breakdown in it, like, the beat changed in almost every single song, if you didn't notice. Like, at some point, like, he would, like, rap for, like, one part. Even for Eminem. Like, in the Eminem song, when Eminem came and started rapping, the beat was a completely different beat. And then it started it started building back to the same beat as before. But, like, he broke down the beat. In the J.I.D. song, it did that. Like, his, it just had kind of, like, that conceptually a little bit of that vibe to me. It had, like, that that street pain, but it was still, like, some, some cocoa butter shit. You know what I'm saying? One thing that Boogie be doing, and I'm trying to pull up the lyrics right now. Boogie be having bar. He's he's very good at being dope and not saying he's dope. Yeah, he's got bars that he says and something like, "Bro, do you realize how <coughs> much crack that was?" Hold yeah. on, I gotta find the exact. It was just very odd to me. The the um, it was definitely odd to me how short the songs were. That was one. There was a couple for for uh, uh, G- does Genius not have the lyrics up already? That's weird. Yeah. Keep talking, my bad. Yeah. So I had um, just the songs being short was just like I that wasn't necessarily a complaint for me. Um, I didn't think it was bad. It just kind of made the album feel like really interlude ish. Because there was shit that I was like, man, I'm kind of getting into this, and it's like developing, and then the, and then I'm look at down on my phone, and I'm like, wow, this song got like 30 seconds left. I'm like, what's going on? I just started listening to it, but um, like beat wise, bro, like production wise, the album was crazy. Like, and hook wise, like even his verses were really good. It was just very, very melodic. It was, it sounded like an R&B album. It didn't even sound like when he said when he said on that tired track he said I'm tired of working for uh, I'm tired of working at myself I want to be perfect already 
I'm tired of dating. I'm tired of the dating process. I want to know it's certain already. I'm tired of questioning if God's real. I want to get murdered already. That I had to pause that shit and be like, "Nigga, real? You got? We got to find a new word for, for other than real. That's <coughs> that's uncomfortable. Right. That's right, like, right, right, oh right. damn, that's a bar. Yeah. Yo. Definitely. You can see my breath. That's how cold it is in here. That's crazy. Yep. Yo, it's brick. Brick daddy. For real. Um, Let's go through the song, though. All right. What did you, uh, what did you think about the tired reflection? The beat was absolutely insane, and the hook was absolutely crazy. It was definitely like a deep song. He was definitely in his bag. Um, I really like that song. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like that gunshot part where he says he gets murdered and stopped by the little two Kendrick. You know, it's funny. If you could see my notes, I literally put Kendrick Lamar feel. I yeah. swear to God, I was like, that's... But, but that Kendrick literally did that good kick mass city. Remember when he did like something, something, and then he, he, he dies? Yeah, that, that, but that's literally why I said it sounds like a mashup between those two albums to me. Like, But I, I, I'm not even saying it's, it's like literally what Kendrick Lamar did. Yeah. He says uh, some, some, uh, like, some, some, then I die, and it gets shot, and then it stops, and then it switches. Like, he literally did that, so I was like, all right, cool. But I really like that first song. Fact, Silent Rod, we already know. We've all Silent been, Rod, that crack. Definitely that crack. Um, the third song, Swap Me. Um, I was mad at Swap Me because I thought that was going to be the hard song. I was like, nigga, it's called Swap Me. Nigga. Niggas going to yeah, be Yeah, but it was nigga. definitely like a real... Black, bleak, nigga. They going to say all that. Yeah, it was... I, I just put down that it was like a real Afro soul type beat. Um, I said that it was a, a real slow song singing more of an R&B feel. And it almost kind of felt... That song kind of felt like an interlude to me. Like... That I felt like that was like a song that was supposed to come in between a song, like to tell a story. You know what I'm saying? You know another thing I feel about this album that was a little strange. What? It was a little strange because there was no beat that stuck out to me. No nah. beat was like boom, like nah. oh whoa, what do we got here? All of them were kind of just. Ah. They were really mellow. They were really. It was like really like a melodramatic album. Like if you're coming to this album, like this is like real like. Uh, like kind of like more sad boy ish than than like real well, Boogie, like Boogie shoot. kind of a sad boy though because he yeah. didn't know my goodness he, he kind of a sad boy yeah it is I mean he's just like a, I think he's just like really like in tune and I think that like I I feel like a lot of pain from that nigga like it's like right. I feel like that nigga has like and like he's just like now getting to tell people his story. And, like, I don't know. That's how I felt from the album. I felt like I was like, damn, son, like, you're definitely, like, upset right now. Like, you're definitely not, like, in a real, you might not be in your best But he place. always be like that. All his music is like that. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I mean, that's what I'm saying. He might just be that kind of person. So, that might be why that album sound like that. I love his little rollout he did with the uh, the, the skits, like the preacher and the used car service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, LOL SMH. That was more of like a skit to me, but it was. It was. It was. Um, it was definitely kind of long for an interlude. That's why I was. That kind of threw me off a little bit. I was like, "Wow, it's kind of a long interview uh, interlude for you to rap for." Then because the it was damn near the length of a lot of the songs on the project. So I was like, "Well, that was." <clears throat> but, That's not saying much because a lot of them were under three minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot, a lot, majority of them. Um, Number five, the Soho featuring J.I.D. Yeah, we're going to we gonna have to slow this one down. This was, to me, and I got to hear it in a system, but if there's any, this is my, this has got to be like my favorite song, other than Silent Rod. I was just pissed how short J.I.D. That, uh, uh, we, uh, we don't mean Soho no more. Na, 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 na. Yeah, that yeah. was so yeah. hard to me. I was like, oh yeah, this the cutter. This the cutter. But yeah. I don't know if it, if it don't knock, then it's not. It, it, I'm gonna be upset. But I, I feel like it knocked. It didn't. It didn't sound like it. Oh my nigga, this has to knock. This has to. I gotta hear this on a system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That um, <clears throat> I had noted that it was just short. I was like, man, that short was. And then again, again, the beat switched on that song too. He changed the beat on that song too. At the, towards the end of the song, the beat changed to like damn near a different beat, and. 
It was fire though. That Soho shit, that shit was crack. That shit was crack. JID's verse was definitely short. I definitely wish it was longer. JID, hold on. He rapped for like legitimately like six bars. Yeah, both of them have like eights. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the song was only like a. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the lyrics, and they dead ass. Like both had eights. Why? I don't know. I don't know. It was like. And then Boogie came back for another eight, so it's yep. like he split his. But his eight. I mean, that's more like a twelve. Yeah. That's uh, that might be a sixteen. That might be a sixteen. That's but cool. his last verse. His last verse. No. It was cool. The hook was fire. The hook on every song was dumb fire. The hook this was, was this was this hook was the hook ha- the I'm hooks had this hook album was. feeling real like good together, you know when what I, I mean? Whenever I hear the word this is that type of hook where whenever I hear the word Soho now, I'm gonna think of this. Yeah. Yeah. Um Skydive. Skydive. See Skydive confused me because Skydive is Skydive too. I'm confused. What's it was J I D I mean a uh, Boogie singing, right? Yeah. Okay, that dude, he did not sound like Boogie. Oh, wait, on Skydive 2? No, 1. 1 was Boogie, yeah, but 2, Black was singing on it too. Black Fire, though. Yeah, I think it was Boogie singing. Yeah, it was Boogie Boogie. singing. That's what I said. On Skydive, the hook was absolutely insane. The hook was definitely insane. And um, I thought that the beat was fire. I thought the reason why the beat didn't stand out super a lot because it was like strings. Like it was like, it was a very like stringy beat, whether it was a guitar. I don't know what instrument was being used, but it was like, so with the strings that I feel like that's what makes that. It was more like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't want to say like the album was more like background music. But it was definitely like some fire cleaning music, is what I'm saying. Like, if you cleaning your crib, bro, and you got that shit bumping, like, the neighbors are like, yo, what is that? That's heat, like... This is definitely Think About My Ex music. This is definitely, like, sit down, uh, uh, that's why I needed more, I was like, man, I just need more chopper talk, that's all. You West Side Bug, man, you're supposed to you let that, let the brat fly, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Live 95, why do I not really remember that? Song? I do. That, I have, um, I think that's my favorite song on, on the project. That and that rainy day, well, the the song with M is crazy, so I'll talk about that when we get to that, but I had that, I just, that song was so god awfully short, but that song was crack, bro. Go listen to that song again, bro. That song is crack, bro. That song was... It was just mad. I think it was like a minute and 50 seconds or something. Yeah. Um, the Rainy Days. Rainy Days is crack. So, so that's how you feel about that? That's just I it? Crack. I think a lot of people were in my messages and stuff talking about their uh, 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 they didn't like M's verse. A lot of people were saying that it wasn't what they thought it would be. But I think there's uh, there's something with Boogie that lands different on, on, on people's ears for some reason than mine. Because I really like Boogie. Like I thought that song he, was crazy. If you read through my comment section, there's so many people that, like, bro, I didn't even know who Boogie was until your channel. Like, you put me on Boogie. And I I think Boogie is real fire. Maybe it's just because he, he remind me of Good Kid, Mad City, Kendrick. And, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. That Speaking song that, was man, crazy, bro. Album. That, that song... Was crazy, dog. Listen, if y'all listening right now, that's go listen to that shit again, bro. Go listen that to that shit again. Was fire. I because yo, what did you like M's verse? Yeah, there's a couple laffy taffy jokes in the beginning. And then, but you didn't uh, like. Okay, so do you didn't like the the sheep herding line? The sheep herding line was cool, but I could see how people would take that as a corny book. It's not even, I said it in my reaction, it's not what he said, it's how he delivered it. It's how he delivered it. He delivered it very, boom, 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 like he delivered it very like, you should go, at the end of it. Like, it, it it's like. I'm going to keep it like, a buck. I'm going to keep it a buck. I was driving when I heard it. So when I first heard it, I was like, I think that's whack. And then, like, I, I immediately ran it back and started it over. And I was like, nah, I liked it. I, I don't said, know he, why. He said it like, 
I'll say exactly. I'll read. I'll tell you exactly how he said it. Like he definitely rapped with that choppy flow, like that. That staccato, that weird staccato. But like, I know that that does not bother me for some reason. He said, "I let my legacy hurt. Fucking absurd. Like a shepherd, like a shepherd having sex with his sheep. Fuck what you heard." That to me is and nah. I that the way you said it, the way you said it was cool though. Yeah, but I said it a little bit cooler than he said it. But I'm saying if you would have been like, if you would have heard that, like, I left my legacy hurt, fucking absurd, like a shepherd having sex with a sheep. Fuck what you heard. That's completely different. Yeah. That sounds way better. But he per- de- delivered it like da 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 da. Da da da, and it's like, oh, come on, don't deliver it like. I don't know, I don't know. So, what did you think about the rest of the verse? When he started getting into the, I got a bottle of night cray right here. He, I was, yeah. I Listen, was when this book. nigga was going back and forth with himself, that was crazy, bro. He bodied that. that was I he like bodied the, that song. He that was fire. I, I, I like the like the clip where you're trying say, to buy. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. When he said like the uh, uh, was all I, uh, all this talk in my ear, I got an idea. I got an idea like a clerk when you're trying to buy beer. I like that bar, but it's the delivery. If you would have delivered it like the way I said, like all this talking in my ear, I got an idea like a clerk when you're trying to. Uh, like, I got an idea like a, I can think of a hundred different ways to do that, but it's just the way that he spaces it that makes you almost be like. Uh, the, the, the delivery is so daddy. So dad-ish. I feel it. I don't know. I liked it. I thought that... I liked it too, but it's just... You know I'd be killed, weird the about them certain deliveries that M got sometimes that I don't really like. Like I, the, the his kickoff freestyle delivery, I didn't like like that. Or that awfully hot coffee pot. I didn't like that delivery like that. But I thought his delivery in this song was like... I thought that shit was cool. I thought it was even when he sp- he starts spazzing and going fast and going into his M bag, and he says, "Marshall is dead in the water, but not that I care." Do- uh, Doctor, I mean, Dre said, "Rock the boat," and the doc is my peer. That was fire. Yoga flame, my nigga. Definitely, that definitely is crazy. Yoga flame. Yeah, yeah, it is. That's yeah. like crazy and not even trying. That's yeah, like- that's yeah, yeah, yeah. He killed that shit, bro. Dre said rock the boat and the dock is my peer. That is freaking crazy. That's an that's one of those bars that fits perfectly. Like it's just perfectly squared. Right. Like right. it's just like you can't you don't take a bar out. There's not weird spacing. There's not like a word that's in there just to get to the next word. It, right. But it's it, yeah. No, that's facts. That's facts. No, and then when it came up with, I just thought you through my ring. Bro, listen. That hook is so crap, bro. That hook is legendary. That is legendary hook. Definitely a legendary hook, bro. Like, somebody should, like, come back and remix that song or something, too, or I don't know, nigga. I would like to hear that. I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to do that. Skydive 2 featuring Black. That was cool. Yo, why does Black sound like Frank Ocean? (laughs) I don't listen to a lot of black so Me I, either, I, but on that song, that nigga sounded just like Frank. I was like, dude, this sound like Frank Ocean. And I'm not going to lie, I took a quick little listen to Who's Fault just because at this point, I was like, there's got to be that 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 just gangsta gangsta song. There has to be, right? And I never found No, it. well, um, <laughs> Who's Fault was definitely like... Uh, uh, how he, how much he hated his baby mama, and that shit was like cool. But I had already heard him hate his baby mama of a couple other songs, so I was kind of like, eh. Uh, yeah, this is when he got to. I feel like just like kind of repeating himself. The self destruction though, that was definitely a way more upbeat song. That was. I gotta hear that one again. That self destruction was definitely. I literally like noted, like dog. I noted that I was like, this shit's upbeat. God damn, finally. That's what I type. That's all I like. I do. I do remember that song. That song definitely stuck out to me. That was way more like okay, 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 okay. You know what I'm saying? I was like, all right, all right, word, smooth, smooth, smooth. But I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. Silent Ride is gonna be a song that I'm gonna be listening to. Like I'm gonna be listening to that for the rest of my life. That, that I'm gonna listen to that and Rainy good. Day. And Rainy Day too. But that Silent, bruh. Yeah. 
outside. Definitely that crack, yo. Definitely that crack. That shit was such a good song. Definitely. And then I gotta go back and listen to the end of the album, basically. Nah, that um, (laughs) that song I just said. Um, what's it? So what do you give it out of ten? I'm gonna give it a seven, and not like, like not. That's a little low. But, like, I, I feel so. like... Huh? I don't think that's a little low. I feel like it's a solid seven. I mean, like, honestly, this is the thing. Overall, this album could have, I feel like, went a lot different way if there were some bigger features on it. Not bigger than who was on it, but I'm saying, like, more features on the album. I feel like it would have gave it a more different sound, and it would have taken away from some of the redundancy. Um, I thought he needed a couple more upbeat songs. That would have been something that I feel like I would have scored him higher. And also, I feel like his beat selection was really, really, really good. But it was also like really so melodramatic that it's like, bro, like you got to have really, something. I thought it was really sane. I thought it was really redundant. Like, I yeah. There wasn't enough dynamics between the songs of different types of beats and different pockets. Right. I don't mean flows, I mean pockets of sound like I'm gonna keep it a rock with you. I feel like him not having a big song like that that's like hype, more hype that more people are gonna be trying to bump like that. I feel like that might hurt his sales. Yeah. Because well, his uh, Well let me say what I'm oh, go ahead, say that go ahead, go ahead. No, nah, go ahead. I think I would give it a seven or a like six point nine eight. Like it, it, it's 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 missing feeling. This is a, there's a, there's a, 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 a few crew. What happened? I'm getting a freaking probably a telemarketer call right now. Just ignore it. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. um, what was that? Yeah, there's a lot of feelings that we're missing on here, especially for a debut album. Like, there's there's more more vibes I wanted to get from and more ideas. Um, the rapping is solid, the storytelling is good. The what it's for what he's going for, it, 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 it he went for there and he got there, but for listening as a project this is like as weird as it sounds a, a cd i probably listen to sporadically with the songs differently than i would listen to the whole album you know what yeah I'm yeah yeah you would select the songs you really like and then the rest of it you well, I, I, that's not even what i'm saying i'll probably listen to all the songs but not together together and yeah not at the same time you definitely fuck around fall asleep yeah <laughs> But yeah, I think it's a good, it's a, it's solid, it's solid. Definitely think M probably could have came harder after you know a day of sitting on it. Um, maybe after I listen to this more and more and more, I'm gonna be like, yo, dude, what was I don't know what I was smoking when I first heard it, but this is way better or way worse. But that silent ride enough that alone. Yeah, that song in rainy days was crack, and that '95 that that song was done fire, bro. What do you think is going to do numbers wise? You still think it's we're saying 80? I don't think so. I'm going to keep it a rock. I think that shit going to do 56,000. That's my guess. It's an oddly specific ass number. I don't know I why. Said, I said on one of my reactions that I think it's going to 50. 56,000 is my guess. You want to bet? I think it's going to do 50. Watch that shit do two hundred and seventy, and then us both just feel like just the the biggest idiots. Two hundred and seventy. No, I I mean I'm just saying like Captain Insano. Definitely Captain Insano. Well, and then the, the weird thing to me is why didn't they drop the Eminem song to at least get the streams up for the album? I don't know. That's that's why I said I feel like that uh, that's going to be the one thing that hurts the album. With y'all put in the comment section. What y'all thought about the album? What was your favorite songs? Uh, where would you rate it? You know what I mean, out of ten. Facts. Get you tonight at eight p.m. Eastern, where we're all gonna break it down <laughs> live. As a squirrel, and I'll give. Um, I'll be listening to every song over again. 
definitely do that. Do Get some money up. Not your funny up. SFJ is froze over there. We out here. Get money. Get your money up. Grr, grr, bah.